Evolution of Nermal. Nermal's first television appearance was on the Garfield and Friends episode School Days, where he is voiced by Desiree Goyet, despite being a male cat. On the show, Garfield often plots to mail him to Abu Dhabi. In the 1988 TV special Garfield, His Nine Lives, Nermal appears as the cameo character in the eighth segment, Garfield. In the 2004 live-action movie Garfield, the movie, Nermel appears voiced by David Eigenberg. He is portrayed as a dim-witted adult Siamese cat in the neighborhood with Garfield, and he is his friend. In Robot Chicken, Nermel appears in the episode Sausage Fest, where he is thrown out of the window. Starting with the 2007 CGI movie Garfield Gets Real, Nermal is voiced by Jason Marsden. Here, Nermal works at the comic studios with Garfield, Odie, John, and other comic strip characters, where the comics are made in their world and sent to the real world. When Garfield decides to go into the real world, John is confused about how to continue publishing comics without the main star. When John says that they need a funny cat, Nermal puts forward his candidacy and comes up with the name of the show, The Fun Adventures of Super Kitten, where he has a clueless assistant, Arlene. In the 2008 CGI direct-to-video movie Garfield's Fun Fest, Nermal makes an alter ego disguise, Ramon, to win the Fun Fest by dancing with Arlene. Garfield eventually exposes his identity while fighting over who gets to dance with Arlene, resulting in a disqualification. When Garfield and Arlene are crowned winners of Fun Fest, Nermal starts thinking of other ideas for next year's Fun Fest. In the 2009 direct-to-video movie, Garfield's Pet Force, when Nermal gets the new Pet Force 100th edition issue from a newsstand, Garzuka, Garfield's superhero counterpart, comes to comic strip world for help, jumping out of a comic book to run away from Vetvix, who is chasing after him. Meanwhile, Nermal finds that the events that are happening to them are in the comic book, and the rest of the book is blank, because they have not happened yet. Garzuka heads for John's house, where he hands Nermal, Arlene, and Odie the serums, asking them to help him stop Vetvix. When they transform into their pet force counterparts, Nermal becomes abnormal and is given super speed. In the end of the movie, when the battle is won, Pet Force turns back into their original forms with a reversal serum, and Garzuka gives Nermal an abnormal costume before leaving. In the TV series The Garfield Show, Nermal often acts smug to Garfield and sometimes blackmails him into being nice to him, playing with him, or punishing him and Odie when they are mean to him. Differently from the other incarnations, he occasionally wins against Garfield. In the episode, Out on a Limb, while normally calm, he can go into uncontrollable fits of rage if anyone calls him mangy. In the TV series Mad, Nermal appears on TV when Garfield was watching it. In the series Garfield Originals, Nermal is the mean one between him and Garfield, and he is more mischievous, selfish, and obnoxious. This time he is the main antagonist, as he is shown constantly trying to annoy or harass Garfield in many ways, including putting a bomb behind him. All of Nermal's attempts fail because of Garfield's awareness, and he ends up getting hurt or humiliated in the end.